In the town of Gilgandra in central New South Wales, you'll find an amazing cactus garden and collection owned by Lester Myers. Being such a generous gentleman, he was more than happy to share his story with us. I got started about 1948 and it was in those days I used to go to work before school of the morning with the local milkman and of course a couple of ladies around town had cactus so that was the beginning I sort of uh, sort of uh, worked up enough courage to go and ask them could I have a few pieces and they were only too willing to, to give them to me and uh, so that's where it all started a long long time ago of course there wasn't the uh, plants around then that there are now we just mainly well, a few bits and pieces of mammillaria, like uh, I think mammillaria gracilis and a few other common things, uh, the echinopsis, plenty of apuntias, of course. And from there on, it sort of blossomed over a long, long period of time. The, the collection, as I said, it, it was very slow to start because there, there weren't the uh, offerings around that uh, a collector can get these days. And uh, so I started at home at the back of mum and dad's house and used the, the tank stand as, as the first uh, glass house I had, really. You know, the, once the tank, tank, uh, the tank stand got full, well, I had to actually go and build a, uh, a glass house, which wasn't until many years later. That was probably oh, back in the... Uh, yeah, about 1958, 59, I think it was, uh, by the time I actually built my first glass house. And it was a genuine glass house. It was, it was all glass. Like glass houses these days, of course, are not glass houses, are they? At least mine's not, anyhow. And uh, but then it just blossomed. The, the, the you know the uh, enthusiasm for cactus, and I always found that the thornier they were, the more I liked them. The, the, the well, not so thorny ones are nice, but the real heavy thorn ones all, always had a great appeal to me. And uh, then, of course, next thing came along uh, was growing seed which was quite an experience, really. <laughs> and uh, it was very primitive, in the, uh, you know, back in the late 50s, the early 60s. And uh, so it was through trial and error, because I was living you know, out here, and this is my hometown, so I was living out here in the bush, and no one to teach me anything, so it was, everything was self-taught. And uh, you certainly, as they say, you learn by your mistakes. Still making them, but never mind. <laughs> And so it went on, and then of course this, this occurred, I, I actually left Gill for a little while in the late 60s and uh, went to Sydney to live, took my collection with me, spent about five years down there I think, and uh, that was as much as I could do as, as put up with the city life, so I shipped them all back to Gilgandra. And uh, then in uh, 19, oh, 1972 I acquired this uh, block of land here it was uh, about the only one that was close to home and I thought oh well it'll, it'll probably be big enough I'll never fill it but uh, unfortunately I have and so and then of course I built this, this glass house in three stages over a period of about 15 20 years and uh, I didn't think really I'd, I'd ever have enough plants to to fill it up but if I was 20 years younger, I'd probably have another one. But, um, but no, the, the enthusiasm's still there. I still enjoy coming over and working amongst the plants. And uh, it's so far so good. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, the cactus, you know, the plants are getting quite old now. I've got plants now that are over 60 years of age. And. Uh, It'd be interesting to see how much longer that I will be able to keep the collection because I'm not a spring chicken anymore either. <laughs>